It's been business as usual for bus service in Fredericton recently, but that could soon change. An attempt at mediation between the city and its transit workers on January 12th was unsuccessful. Members of the union representing the bus drivers voted down the city's final offer a few days earlier. The transit workers also voted in favor of a strike. There hasn't been any job action yet, but several people are concerned about the status of the transit network. Many of those who are worried are students. First year St. Thomas student Paige Grace takes the bus to campus from several blocks away. Uh, it's concerning to me because I know that as a student it inconveniences me, but I also know it inconveniences other people in more ways. Um, I have a friend that goes here to St. Thomas that works at the mall and she depends on the bus to get back and forth to work and to school and you know it's important to be able to get to work because they need to work. <laughs> Third year St. Thomas student Jeremy Keats depends on the bus to get from downtown Fredericton to campus. Honestly, like, I don't know, the, the idea that I'd have to walk to school every day in the, in the freezing cold of January and February, like, that, that's miserable. Like, I'd have to get up an extra hour early and then walk up the hill and maybe get Safe Ride back because Safe Ride doesn't take you from your house to the school. No. So I'm stranded, like, unless I'm going cab. <laughs> The uncertainty of the situation has people considering alternative ways to get from point A to B. There's even talk of helping others do the same. The St. Thomas Students' Union looks to do just that. So Megan Thompson is the student union president. Um, and all of, all of which we'll probably follow through with in some capacity. Um, the first uh, is we are looking for students to be creative um, about the way that they would get to school. First and foremost, um, we're asking students to dress for the weather, dress appropriately, um, and walk maybe a little bit further than they would usually be willing. Um, second, we are offering um, financial incentives for students to carpool. Um, we know that a lot of students do have vehicles, um, but a lot of students who have vehicles um, don't fill their vehicles all the, all the way on the way to school. Um, so if students um, do drive to school, um, they drive uh, from far away, um, they usually pass through an area in the city, um, maybe an area uh, where another student might need a ride. Bus drivers in Fredericton currently make $22 per hour. They're looking to be paid closer to what drivers in Moncton and St. John make. The city has offered wage increases of 1.75% per year for the first three years. Then wages would go up 2.5% in the last two years of the deal. The city has also offered increased benefits. Our attempts to contact both the city and the union were unsuccessful. However, the union says it's preparing its members for a strike, which could take several days. The union also has to provide the city with 24 hours notice if it plans to strike, which it says it's not going to do just yet. For St. Thomas Journalism, I'm Nathan DeLong.